All right. So Operation Officer Windfall. Um, the Saudis, possibly the Russians, have constructed a pipeline that uh, a, a, a partial pipeline um, they use to uh, transport oil from gas say gas anyway in the Mediterranean this this pipeline is is so new that no one knows about it I mean it's, it's totally fucking new what this pipeline is going to do for Israelis unfortunately well, they, they have a pig. There's a pipe and inspection gadget. It's supposed to go a pig. They've uh, used the pig to move this W50, uh, W25 uh, warhead, which is a 1.5 kiloton warhead, into the, into the pipeline. So what happens is, is eventually, the pipeline will be pressurized to test the pipeline. But it won't be a test. It'll, it'll actually be an operational thing that they'll use to push the fucking goddamn warhead out of the pipeline. Anyway. And then we'll propel the fucking warhead out of the Mediterranean like a dolphin or something. And um, and then, then it'll it'll end up landing on Tel Aviv in the capital of, of, Isra of Israel. When it lands there, it'll explode. Well, actually, before it lands, it'll explode. And um, it'll be in an airburst. And, um, well, kill millions of people. I mean, millions of people will die. Millions of Israelis and Palestinians and Arabs and other people will die because of this 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 attack. If it happens and it and it's probably gonna happen on November eleventh. Probably. Uh, based, based on numbers. Numbers are of course important to me. So So from November 3rd to the November 11th, eight days. You have, you, well, now this is the 5th, this is November 5th. You have, you have less time to figure out uh, what to do about this. God, the devil, which of course I'm both, my wife, my life, dearly, says that um, what happens is if, if, if this this actually happens, this, this, this attack actually occurs, the the Israelis will 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 nuke their neighbors, and this will set off a chain reaction and, and cause. World War Three, and what you don't want. So the moral of the story is, you gotta stop this fucking thing from happening. But it, the, the the probably the pig is already um, in the, in the spur. What I call the spur. And the uh, the mysterious pipeline, and uh, under the Mediterranean, 
and it probably has uh, the, the, the W25 close by, maybe in a sub, maybe in a mini sub, let's say a mini sub. So, what you gotta do is you gotta find the fucking mini sub. And you gotta, you gotta yank these motherfuckers out of this fucking mini sub. And you, you yank the motherfucking uh, W25. You know, you know why the W25 exists? It's because Governor Rhodes, Governor James Rhodes, because of his paranoia, which is sort of like my paranoia, um, after Kent State, 1970, decided to secretly bury a, a, a nuke, a tactical nuke, which is basically what a W25 is, 1.5 kilotons. And the foundation of Overwood Hall, which was being constructed, and to because he feared that the, um, the, the the planet was going to be overrun with radicals, and he didn't want that. So anyway, the W25 was was uh, recovered by the terrorist group operated by John, J-O-N. Who John is, don't you? You know me, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm the antithesis of John. Anyway. And uh, it was recovered around February of 2009. Because they were uh, reconfiguring, or reconstructing, or whatever, Overwood Hall. And once they recovered this nuke, they transported it to uh, this guy named Mill Irons uh, facility in, on Route 39. This evil motherfucker he was. He is, still is. And he tested it for viability. And uh, then for some reason he burnt down his fucking... Uh, I guess because of cover his ass. He burnt down his facility. But then it was transport. And it's been husbanded by uh, terrorists for, for a very long time. The thing is, it's going to be used against the Israelis. So if uh, Mossad is listening to me, and I hope they are, I'm in Seattle, Washington. I'm Facing the space needle. It's a cloudy day. You need to realize that you're in great danger. Israel is in great danger of being attacked by terrorists. People have no regard for human life. So anyway, that's all I can say. This is Operation Officer Windfall, signing off. Let me get this thing.